Hey guys, and it's like welcome back to another Batman v Superman news video. So this time, actually, we got two things confirmed for this. So as you guys can see from the title, the costume designer has a has officially confirmed the Flash appearance and the nightmare sequence. Uh, this is from BatmanNews.com, but I'm reading this from IGN, considering I can't find Batman News um, article at the moment. But anyway, so the interview I think was in Brazil Comic Con. I believe they just had it there. Um, I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. Right? Um, but anyway, so in this article it says, "Well, I'm not really at liberty to talk about the Flash right now, but it is something you'll be seeing in the future of our films. You'll get a you do get a glimpse of him, of course, in the Batman v Superman. So that is." A amazing news we actually get to see the first glimpse of the flash i actually am having doubts with this flash um israel miller does not look like a barry allen to me um and i have never seen him act before so i am pretty nervous about this um but grant gustin if anything is always going to be the flash that i personally loved um anyway um he does also confirm a co he does also confirm the nightmare sequence where he says it's a different where they interview him about it and he says it's a different look um, and director Zack Snyder had a great idea of this sort of nightmarish vision, almost a vision in the future of a post-apocalyptic apocalyptic vision. It's a dream sequence that Ben has, so we wanted to, um, so we wanted to, it almost had a ma Mad Max quality to it, where it's the end of the world, trying to survive, then of course Superman and his minions come, so it's a sort of way of representing the amazing amounts and the sort of obsessive quality that Bruce Wayne has about the threat of Superman. So it does confirm that that is the nightmare sequence, it is, everyone thought it was the son of Batman's, uh, the, yeah, the sons of Batman's, which is kind of really stupid, to be honest, um, it's, they even said in the, in the, um, um, they, in an interview that Zack and the writer had gone into a room and created the story and there is no, it's not based off anything. They're, the only thing that is really based off is visual effects, which set, which um, shows the power armor. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this is pretty cool news. We actually get to do see the Flash in the Batman v Superman uh, movie. Um, of course, I believe it's going to be just a small cameo and he's not going to really have to do anything in the movie, but I cannot wait to see how he actually looks. Um, there is reports that he will have a post-apocalyptic look, so you can possibly see that in the nightmare vision um, that Batman has. Most likely, um, we did get a lot of uh, reports a while back that his costume is going to have yeah, post-apocalyptic kind of looks to it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this news. I'm pretty, ex I'm pretty excited to see the Flash in this movie. I kind of had doubts that we were going to see him, but now we're going to get to see him. I actually, and I actually want to get a good look at him, considering that um, you know. Um, Israel Miller does not look like the Flash to me. So, but anyway, let me know what you guys think. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, guys. This is Nimbus Light, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, rate, comment, subscribe to Nimbus Light. Oh, get to chop Oh, do it all, blow it to pieces. Oh, get to chop Oh, pieces, boom, man. Oh.